everyone, it's me, Mrs. Lachman from Boston School Forest, and I'm here with my pal, Smokey Bear. And Mystery Dog had just given us all that great information about how wildfires are so hard to put out, but all their video was from places like California and Oregon and Washington. Did you know we have wildfires right here in the Stevens Point area? I took a field trip of my own over here to the Plover Ranger Station, and I'm gonna meet two forestry technicians named Matt and Alyssa, and they're gonna tell us a little bit about their job. Good morning, I'm Matt Schoonover. I'm a forestry technician advance. I work at the Plover Ranger Station here in Wisconsin. Hi guys, I'm Alyssa Moore. I'm also a forestry technician advance and I work out of the Wisconsin Rapids uh, Service Center. And we're here today to uh, show you some equipment and hopefully some preventive measures on forest fires. We do have forest fires here in Wisconsin, and the time of year that we have most of them is in the springtime. When the snow disappears, that's when our forest fires start. And most of our fires are started by people. And people are careless when they are trying to do some cleanup in the springtime. All right, so here in Wisconsin, this fire truck is called a Type 4 heavy unit. It carries 850 gallons of water. We mainly use this to haul our tractor plow, which is on the trailer. Uh, the tractor plow is used to make fire breaks and is also used to put out fires using water. It carries 150 gallons of water, shown on the tank, so it says Nakusa 1. What we have here is a sulky plow. On this sulky plow, this creates a mineral soil break when it's pulled behind. We have the coulter that cuts the ground, and then the plow itself folds the sod over from one direction and the other, and it creates a mineral soil break that's approximately eight feet wide. And this helps us control the fire because when the fire burns, it'll come up to the mineral soil break and put itself out. What we have here is what we call a bladder bag. It carries five gallons of water. We carry it out into the field, and with this baton, we can spray water and put the fire out with that. And over here, in this hand, we have a plasky. We use this to dig a trench to make a mineral soil break to put the fire out. And this is called a shovel, and we also use that to build fire line. All right, so if anyone is interested in a career like mine, what I did is I had loved the outdoors, so I chose a career that I wanted to be outside all the time. I went to school for two years at Fox Valley Tech in Appleton, and that was based on natural resources technician, I did a lot of forestry work and then they also had a fire program and this is how my interest came in fires because in school we got to do a prescribed burn every Friday and that's what really led me into the fire program. And a big thing if you want to get a career in this department it's good to have some experience with heavy equipment use since we use a dozer all the time. We're asking everyone to help us prevent forest fires. Everyone from kindergartners to sixth graders. From kindergartners, we're asking the kids not to play with matches. For sixth graders, we're asking them to remind their folks what is legal to burn. And what is legal to burn is clean wood products. With that, and also getting a burning permit helps us prevent forest fires from happening. 